What's going on guys, Xgaming here and today I'm back with the Ponyo, I know it's been a while so let's just go straight into it. Now that was exciting. After this thrilling mind bike chase through the trash mines of the Ponyo, we've now reached the lower ascension station and are inside the candy shop of the abandoned railroad depot, ruthless laid go down in a bed of roses and... They were Brussels sprouts. Yes. Brussels sprouts. Y y yes, or uh, Brussels sprouts. They stuck and I stank for weeks. Whatever. Uh, Brussels sprouts, roses. A rose is a rose, is sometimes a Brussels sprout. However, we are uh, heading towards the game's exciting showdown slowly but surely. Uh, speaking of which, I always like to point out how interesting this Art Nouveau station is. We tried our best to let the old Elysian wells shine through the ruins by showing hints of early Elysian architecture and also Elysians have an exquisite taste for high society candy like candy cotton with casoni flavor or Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts of course, why not? Or Skewered uh, anchovies, there was a huge variety of delicacies and after all, Brussels sprouts are not so bad, healthy if anything. It's a good thing if a man gives Brussels sprouts to a woman and... Let's move on. Chewing gum, and fast! What? Hmm, I want chewing gum! Huh, voice control seems to be broken. This doesn't say anything about flavors. There's a dancing cockroach depicted instead with a hat and a cane. <laughs> That's stupid. Mm. <coughs> I'll keep the rest for later. Much later. Hey, there's something behind it. What the? A plug! Oh, man. Not really. You crazy? It can't be that easy. Ah! <laughs> A one fish of the day, please. Ugh, I should have said which day. Yummy! Skewered anchovies. They had those when I was a kid, too. Wow, exactly those. Any foodie knows anchovies get better the longer they're stored. All I wanted to have was the stick anyway. The switches change the lights. There are three on this side and one on the other. Hmm. Whoopsie daisy. Aha! One off, two on. I'm getting there. Three and three. That's six, isn't it? Now it's set to calzone. Now it's set to phosphor.
there's a mount for the torch in the niche. There are mirrors around it to focus the light. That can only mean one thing or nothing. One or zero. I believe there's a tool that was specifically designed to remove dirt. At least, I think Tony once mentioned something like that. Hey, my epic Gregorian choir is back. I thought I'd left that behind at the crane. Huh, the mosaic depicts the upper class leaving the planet. The lower class remains behind. Whoa, those guys are really fed up. They shout at the traitors and shove barbecue lighters and sausages on giant forks in their faces. Must have been Barbecue Thursday. You style, you style, you know nothing about you style. As a German poet with terrible American accent once sang, he did that after visiting Barcelona, which by the way is pronounced Barcelona by its uh, denizens. Barcelona, not Barcelona, as you might think. After this short linguistic exercise, let's get back to the Jugendstil or Art Nouveau style of this place. I'm very fond of this kind of architecture. It has this sunken city flair. I mean, we're in a building that looks like a ruined bunker from the outside and from the inside. It's a gorgeous Jugendstil train station. That one's on me. This arch architectural mismatch. Uh, your style. And now we are venturing deeper into the station and the deeper we get the less we can see. No, wait, in fact the more we see the people of Elysium, even before they became Elysians, left an architectural masterpiece including these beautiful mosaics. Nobody knows when they were crafted, but they show scenes from the Exodus to Elysium. This of course doesn't seem to make any sense, but it's easy to imagine that all the glass blowers and I don't know Tiffany glass artist guys who've been left behind uh, were pretty pissed and so they left these artworks in the windows so the brass about the outrageous Exodus to Elysium would outlast time itself. But uh, thanks to these mosaics we as a player have a small glimpse at the backstory of Toponia and Elysium after cleaning up of course and illuminating the windows and uh, oh now I gave away the solution to the puzzle. Damn. Uh, yeah, so uh, after cleaning <laughs> yeah. 
Of course, um, I had to come up with something since I didn't flesh out the backstory, but uh, another important phony related ritual must be a Barbecue Thursday. Time is on my side. Today, I am gonna leave Deponia. Huh, the clock stopped. R, U, F, E, that wasn't it. Maybe this? R, U, nah, I've tried that, but what else could it be? I'd rather keep my items on me, otherwise some random passerby might just snatch them. I hate people who do that. Mmm, foamy. I can't believe I'm doing this. I hope the historians will never learn about this bit. <laughs> Crap, the mop broke. <laughs> what an unfortunate occurrence. Mosaic depicts the cable boat leaving Deponia, just like I will be doing soon. And hey, hey, hey! Someone has scribbled something on it. It must be the password for the elevator. At least, it's written right over the picture of the elevator clock, exactly where a piece of the mosaic is missing. Crap. Someone has scribbled something on it. It must be the password for the elevator. At least, it's written right over the picture of the elevator clock, exactly where a piece of the mosaic is missing. Now, we'll have to use some extraordinary dexterity. There are still more pieces. Well, no problem. I'll have that solved in no time.
don't know if I mentioned that, but I really dig mini games. I guess I don't represent the majority with that attitude, but there's a growing faction, or maybe one in regress, the lines there are blurry, I reckon. Anyway, there is a faction of people who passionately hate mini games and wish those abominations would be purged from the screens altogether. And this one? goes out to them, bypassing the trenches of mortar fire, these factions, minigamers and anti-minigamers are at constant war, you see, um, to see who's got the better weaponry. Right, and this is friendly not towards these bitter enemies by letting them break the minigame as hard as they want to. I gave this concept a go for the first time in Whispered World, as you can uh, hear in the commentary over there. Um, if you're German or if you have the luck that we did uh, a translation for that one. And I'll try that again, as you will hear in the commentary of Chaos on the Ponia. But here I'll do it as well, crashing minigames. It's a trend. In the future, I hope everyone will at least break one minigame. Huh? What? I guess I'll just... Still not right. <laughs> I'll get there. Go in! Go in! Damn thing, you're supposed to... Oops. Uh-oh. What about the elevator code now? Damn it.
the system reboots. <laughs> the code for the elevator has been reset. Here comes the new one. <laughs> Something really cool. R-U-F-U-S. Oh, yeah. Huh. Now the shard is hopelessly destroyed, but the chewing gum still looks all right. Ugh. But it's no better than it was before. Elevators are something you need in every single media product. No discussion, period. Because they are the one to go metaphor for life's constant ups and downs. Elevators. Elevators. Yeah. I wanted an elevator scene in the pony and so I sketched a screen with an elevator in it. Elevator scenes are fundamentally superior to any other scenes especially in movies. I love, for example, that elevator scene in Star Wars, the real one, the first Star Wars movie called Episode 4 nowadays, New Hope. Um, they, are, they are facing the wrong way while in the elevator, wondering why the dock, uh, door won't open while it opens behind them. Something like that. Excellently done. And one of my favorite elevator scenes. Maybe the best one ever created is uh, the one in Blues Brothers when they go up in the elevator and outside this massive police force is gathering while they stand idle listening to that ridiculous elevator music. Um, there are plenty more examples. Uh, Ghostbusters, for example. Too many to give them all credit now. The following though is uh, most important. Ultimately, the elevator scene I had in mind um, end up in the third part of the trilogy and not here in the first. The elevator still stayed the same uh, and we have some fun here with uh, elevators. R U F U. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? The password is Rufus. I've said it myself. Or have I gone crazy? So far, so good. Now I just have to wait. Hmm? What's that sound? Organon Cruiser? What are they doing here? Is this a trap? Is Cletus an ally of the Organon? Well, I guess I'll have to take a closer look to find out. Ah, finally, the top of the platform, all the up the lower ascension station, a clearly magical setup with an enchanted atmosphere once more brilliantly executed by our artist Michael Benrath. Um, but what strikes me most is that this is the first time when Rufus and Cletus meet face to face. And as far as I remember, making those two vastly different characters work together was a feat of its own. Um, so tell me, Rufus, how was working with Cletus? Uh, in the story, the two of you are rivals, even uh, courting the same woman. How was that kind of working experience for you? Well, I want to use a metaphor here, uh, even if I'm sure you won't get it, but the, the, the fans probably will. The Bible says, I am the Lord thy God, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Uh, fortunately, I'm not a Catholic. Yeah, I guess we gotta work with that. Never mind. Uh, when the cameras were switched off, however, you and Cletus were still fighting your little fights behind the scenes. And in fact, you've got to admit, Rufus, you're getting into conflicts with other people quite often, huh? 
which is beneficial, mostly. Uh, this is by no means criticism. Oh yeah, heaven forbid. And your conflicts are more like conflicts with your environment in a way. A concept widely known uh, to artists at least as the cussedness of things. You know, what many people in front of the screen don't see is that there are natural laws. And personally, I think those laws are bullshit. Uh, yeah, you could, you know, go ahead and say bullshit. You know, it, this is I can I can say whatever I like in these 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 commentaries. And speaking of which, that day the light bulb prohibition kicked in, and and had to illuminate the whole set with with these uh, Chardassian eco bulbs, which have a luminosity of like 0 0.0004 lux per light. Do you have any idea how many bulbs we had to go through to brighten the set like that? <laughs> it was madness. All that work. Uh, and listeners, fans out there, if I didn't have a spare battery, we couldn't have pulled that off. Tell them that. Uh, and to add insult to injury, the elevator's lights went dead, and since the buttons weren't properly illuminated, we thought the elevator was out of order, since all the buttons' lights had to be changed as well. Yeah, and we had to shoot all this at night. And the stairs. All night long through the dark stairway, all the way down and up, the lower ascension station, up, down, up and down again. Yeah, yeah, and you, you hadn't mentioned that yet. We had to do all this during the night since the power blacked out on us earlier. That, that's what happens if all the people come home and turn their TVs on. Yes, exactly. Uh, actually, uh, this was supposed to be a daylight scene. Yeah, well, you know, I don't think people want to hear that. Let's just move on. <laughs> and why not? I see. The ascension codes. That's what the catch was. Holy smoke, those are the same organons that were threatening goal. Maybe they caught that Cletus guy. Yeah, I knew he'd be a wimp. So what am I gonna do now? I guess it's better to remain hidden. Maybe I can find out something useful. And you're sure that this Rufus character is naive enough to bring your fiancé here? Absolutely. He's a self-centered, greedy rat. The expectation to get to Elysium will lure him here. A greedy rat? Why, that lousy... I really don't understand what you see in this woman, Cletus. As far as I'm concerned, she's simply an unpredictable risk for our joint venture. Believe me, after everything she did, I'd prefer to leave her behind on Deponia too. But I need the Ascension Codes to return to Elysium. And unfortunately, those codes are only stored in her brain implant. No goal, no Ascension Codes. And without Ascension Codes, there's no joint venture. I don't like it. Ulysses will have us both executed if he finds out that you're com Companion is... Shush. There he comes. Annie's Bailiff! Report! There's still no trace of the Deponian Prime Controller, uh, sir. Then what are you waiting for? Carry on with your search. Even through this drone, the stench is unbearable. At last, it's time to put our plan into action. Yes, as you wish, Prime Controller, sir. <coughs> Let's get to work. The faster we're done here, the better. I entirely agree. I'll have a look around the platform to see if this Rufus has already arrived. You'd better stay in the background. We can't risk that rat bailing out on us before we have the ascension codes. Wait a minute. That Cletus guy. He looks just like me. Maybe not as attractive as me, but how can that be? And I don't like what they were talking about. I didn't get everything they said, but... They're certainly up to no good, and I can never allow Goal to fall into the Organon's hands. First, I'm gonna have a word with this Cletus. Junk help him if he tries to deceive me.
Deadly projectile weapon. Check. Ammunition. Check. All hands, battle stations! Keep calm, Argus. We're on a junk planet here. I'm rather surprised that this lamp didn't blow up earlier. Just like this whole planet should. So, please carry on. I've reeled in the shade already. Now all that's missing is the greasy hairdo. I can't get any closer. The Organons would see me. My disguise is almost complete. All that's missing is the greasy hairdo. This'll be even cooler than my old lampshade routine. Genius. <laughs> Let's go. This time, I have surpassed myself. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus. Now, weren't you supposed to be waiting out on the platform? Well, I just wanted to stretch my legs for a minute. You can't really see him very much from up there anyway. <clears throat> Somehow I don't like your attitude. Well, everyone else loves my attitude. I hope you didn't forget about our agreement. How could I? So, you do have the cartridge? Uh... Yes? Well, where is it? Oop, I'm such a scatterbrain. <laughs> I must have left it out on the platform. Hurry up, man. Time is running out. Cletus, Rufus, finally, I face you. Wrong. It's me facing you. That's what you think. I was facing you at least three seconds earlier. Keep telling yourself that, buddy boy. Enough with the discourtesies. Where is Goal? She's safe. Well, that's just perfect, genius. No, you're the genius. We had a deal. You were supposed to bring gold to me, and then I'd have taken you to Elysium. No goal, no deal. So what now? Why do you bear such a striking resemblance to me? You've got that wrong. You bear a striking resemblance to me. You wish. You look more like me than I look like you. Only I am much less ugly. Oh yeah? Well, you're even much, much uglier. Oh yes, have you looked in a mirror lately? Yeah, that's one of my favorite pastimes. Same here. Stop repeating everything I say. Only if you stop repeating everything I say. But you're the one who's repeating everything I say. No, it's you. No, it's you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the agreement between you and the Organon? Well, why shouldn't I just tell you? Deponia is going to be blown up. What? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten that I'm speaking to a Neanderthal. Deponia... Boom. Boom? Yes, boom. The whole stinking pile of manure. And Elysium knows this? About the blast? Of course they do. We placed the order years ago. What do you think the Organons do all day? Delouse their mechanical beards? 
Uh, what will happen to the Deponians? Well, uh, scientifically speaking, they'll be converted to energy. Mm, theologically speaking, well, let's just say there won't be a star in the night sky for them. Whoa, that's serious. Well, to be honest, Deponia is believed to be uninhabited. After all, the surface was declared uninhabitable eons ago. Just when the controlled destruction was imminent, rumors started to appear. Supposedly, there were humans on Deponia, they said. That's why the elders appointed an inspector to get an assessment of the situation. And now, guess who this inspector is? Uh... I am, you troglodyte! I see. Oh. One thing that I don't understand, besides the meaning of the word troglodyte, why didn't the Organon report that there are people on Deponia? They know we live here. After all, they've been terrorizing us for years. They impose custom duties, they block trading routes, and they steal babies in the northern quadrant, which uh, might just be a rumor. Ulysses had his reasons to keep Elysians in the dark. But now you know the truth. Yes, I know everything. Okay, that means that Deponia won't be blown up, right? Hmm... No, wrong. Ulysses explained it to me, and we've come to an agreement. My report to the Elders will state that the planet is indeed uninhabited. Deponia will be blown up after all. Mm, do you have any problems with that? I mean, what's it to you? <laughs> You'll be safe in Elysium when that happens, won't you? Well, you do want to get to Elysium, right? Yeah, sure, but... Blow up Deponia? That seems a bit extreme. I mean, okay, it stinks. It's not really a looker. It's not really a place for someone like me. But I know a few people who are attached to this pile of junk, which might have something to do with the fact that huh, they live here and all. I mean, I'll admit, they are all idiots who wouldn't even recognize a hero if he happened to set fire to their cabbages. But blow it up. Yes, blow it up. Demolish, cremate, eradicate. Just like that. Whoa. I don't care at all, but Goal won't like it. Well, you're not wrong with that assumption. Goal has proven herself to be a risk, but that's been taken care of. What's that? That is a consciousness cartridge. To be precise, it's a memory backup of Goal's personality. I knew that. Goal's whole character is stored on it, including all her memories. Up until she first laid eyes on Deponia and its inhabitants. She will never know what happened here. May I? Hands off! That's not a toy! But it's sparkling. I think I've missed something here. But you haven't missed that Deponia is about to be blown up, have you? Yeah, yeah. Boom, and so on. And that I have to inspect Deponia on orders from Elysium to examine rumors about life on the surface. Yes, got that too. And will I tell them the truth? No, you'll keep your mouth shut about life on Deponia so that Deponia will get blown up anyway. Ho oh, ho, bravo, you really did understand everything. Yes, oh boy, am I good. I'm so incredibly good. <laughs> oh. Well, I will never let that happen. Well, in that case, we don't have a deal. Too bad. You would have liked life in Elysium. Let me just quickly contact the Organon so that they can... No, no, no. Oh, wait a minute. I wasn't finished yet. I'll never let that happen is something that somebody somewhat attached to Deponia would say. I, on the other hand, uh... All right. Great. There's no one who hates Deponia more than I do. Oh yes, how much do you hate Deponia? It stinks. Well, your deodorant does that too. My what? There's nothing but trash around here. Yes, company included. I deserve better. That I highly doubt. There are only idiots living here. And you're living proof of that. Okay, let's just say I hate this place. I don't know. It appears to suit you well. Say what? Do you know what it's like to wake up every morning surrounded by garbage? Between leftovers and dirty laundry? The wash basin is leaking, the toilet overflows, the fridge is empty, and the water smells like it hasn't had a bath for months? And then those permanent cries of, Rufus, do the dishes, find work, 
tidy up for once. Get it into your thick skulls. The whole planet is a trash heap. We walk on trash. We eat junk. You want me to get my ass into gear? You can wash my ass disappear. I'm going where potential is not just fertilizer that gets strewn on the cabbage beds. What can a man achieve in this trash heap anyway? Be freaking mayor of freaking garbage town? The job that even the noble master dodger of responsibility didn't want? Count me out. You hear me, dad? Count me out. And you know something else? I hope you fell into a manure tank. I'll wave goodbye when I pass you on my way to Elysium. Look at me. Who's the filthy little litterbug now? Huh? Who's the litterbug now? <sighs> okay. You really do seem to hate Deponia. You think? The Organon said something about a backup cartridge. But that is none of your business. You take me to go, and I'll take you along to Elysium. We didn't agree on anything beyond that. So I guess we won't be trading junk ball cards. No. I need the backup cartridge. Oh, I'll have to disappoint you. It won't help your lack of brain capacity, I'm afraid. I still need it. And what, pray tell, do you need it for? I can't sneak past the Organons without the cartridge. Well, that's your problem. Listen, sooty boots. Rufus. Yes, I don't care who brings gold to me. If you can't do it, the Organon will. But you'll still take me along, won't you? Oh, buzz off. Goal is unconscious. What did you do? Was her implant damaged? Don't worry, she's okay. Yes, yes, okay, great. But what about the implant? Is the implant still working? I think so, yeah. What do you mean you think so? Without Goal's implant, I'll never be able to leave Deponia. So why don't you give me that damn cartridge so I can go and wake her up? Yes, yes, okay, fine. Here's the cartridge. But as soon as she's awake, you'll bring her here immediately. Understand? And God help you if the implant is damaged. You really love her, don't you? Genius. <laughs> Let's go. This time, I have surpassed myself. Stop! Who goes there? It's me, Cletus. Well? Well, what? The cartridge. Did you find it? Of course. Here it is. Don't panic. Where? Yeah, I can hardly make out anything. And why are you lurking around in the shadows like that anyway? Come into the light where I can see you, man. I, uh... Well, uh... But my dear bailiff, I beg of you a bit more courtesy. Don't forget, we're all working to reach the same goal here. Let the ambassador pass. The faster he finds this Rufus person, and by extension the Ascension Codes, the sooner we can follow through with our mission. As you wish, sir. I do believe that the ambassador has very well understood the seriousness of our current situation. I'm sure he is aware that he has only this one chance to retrieve the Ascension Codes. And if that fails, we'll employ our own methods of retrieving them. Isn't that right, Ambassador? Uh, of course, sir. <clears throat> oh boy, that was pretty close. I think I can get rid of the disguise for now. I doubt they'll fall for that a second time anyway. found her? No, that's impossible. They would have mentioned it. But who else could have taken her? I really need to find out. I have to find her before that Argus guy does. Maybe there's a train. Uh. 
Anyway guys, I'm gonna end it here. Don't uh, I'll see you in the next one. One look, the heat is rising, and I've been cold for so